make sure I've got it all correct. Now, can you hear everyone? There we go. Oh, can you hear what? it? Hello. 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 <laughs> that was the best. I was saying hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> hello and welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I am joined tonight by Matt. Hello. How is everyone? Yeah, how is everyone? Yes, yeah, a small train. Yes, we're on a narrow gauge line. Now, I'm going to get the pronunciation wrong. Matt had already said what uh, uh, in, in Welsh, because it's all in Welsh, isn't it, I think? He's relying on me to pronounce something in Welsh, Welsh. folks. That's this stream already <laughs> off to a brilliant start. <laughs> yeah, so... <clears throat> let's get this started, so we better move off. But um, it was made by... Who was it made by? Charlie Fodder. Charlie Fodder. It's an amazing route you go, isn't the network? So I think you got light through. Yeah. So you've got a, a mine up here and a, uh, a docks down there. Um, so we're sort of like in sort of a really where the start of it is. The mine is not track accessible. You'll find out why when we get there. Yeah. Uh, but it's pretty. So I thought to ourselves, we'll run up, um, we'll run up with the coaches to pick up the miners, and then we'll come back down. Sound working for everyone? I can see Robert Mitchell saying sound's not working. Is that okay for it? Is it good for everybody or? Can everybody uh, hear is, it? Is it a real place or is it made up? Um, I believe it's fictional. And after all of that, he chickened out telling you what the name of the place was as well. He's still not telling you what the name of the place is. Tell, Jamie, tell him where we are. Hang on, I've, I've, I was trying to get, uh, it was. Uh, where are we? So we are at Langatrain? Lang Lang if you can pronounce that better than me, I'm not sure. <laughs> what? Oh, the name of the station we're at? Yeah, the name of the station. Oh, did you want the name of the route? Sorry. Yeah, it's the name of the route that you were going to tell people. Was it Def... Oh, oh, Defani Lang? Def... Defrith Lecky. Defrith Lecky. <laughs> That's... Defrith Lecky. That's the one. <clears throat> or Defrith Lecky or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Different lackey, uh, uh, light railway. That, that'll be, um, go. What? <laughs> what? Why are you saying that? All that matters is pretty trains. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I don't know if that's supposed to do that somehow. Going to work. Amazingly, it does. But That's alright, you don't need the wheels on the rails, they don't actually do anything. <laughs> <sighs> I think at this rate, we're going to go be bound going back to the where we came, I think. Let's yeah, just... yeah, you checked your path, make sure you've got your uh, points set correctly. Look at that, it does that every single time? Look at that, look. There you go, we're back on the rails again. That guy, we're very good, thank you. Go now. No, wrong stream for space launches, Valkyrie. <clears throat> this is not very happy. <laughs> Oh, hang on. No, it's nearly there. That's right. I couldn't tell. Teams is being super efficient at sending me your screen. When I say super efficient, I mean really bad. <laughs> Buffering on YouTube today. Ah, what's your... Um, you having perhaps network problems or something? Me? I shouldn't do. How is the stream on Twitch and YouTube, folks? Is it coming through okay? Which is fine. Okay, good. That's good. 
Yeah, I was just about to say the same, Robert. I, I just, it, I don't think it should be leaning like that. No. But just ignore the train for the moment. Look at that scene. Just look at it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's a tilting system, James Humble. Um, yes. Maybe that's what they meant when they when they said it was a uh, an 042T. <laughs> Didn't. Ch Must admit, it's steep up this. We're going up a one in fifty at the moment. Mm. Well, it's captured. It's um, Trolley Ford has captured a lot of the characteristics of narrow gauge route uh, lines in that it's um, it's got you know sharp hills, it's got sharp corners, it's got the scenery really claustrophobically close to the track in a number of places. It's really, really good. Yeah. Apart from the tilting locos, but there you go. It's the Talaclin Loco, Nigel, it's not the route though. That's not even the Talaclin Loco, what am I on about? It's a Chorus Loco. Yeah. Coming up Precursor the to the APT, yeah. It's where the the, uh, the uh, 042 tank engines on the narrow gauge lines were well known as the, as the precursor to the um, advanced passenger train. <clears throat> Is the line still active? It's fictional, Mr. Heff. It's fictional. So, uh, to that end, would you like to think of it as being still active? In which case, yes, it is. Probably being run with pacers that have been modified to narrow gauge. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'd do anyway. Big Dog says, me thinks Jamie's going to run out of steam. Yeah, I think I am. I think I'm just going to stop a minute and just... Uh... Bring me pressure up a bit. Quality. Narrow gauge pacers, indeed, Rui Fonseca. Narrow gauge pacers. Maybe drop some handbrakes on those coaches and recouple them. That's very half cool. tempted. I'm half tempted to say don't do that, it might explode, but you never know. It'd be entertaining if it explodes. <laughs> There you go! Back on the track! <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> Back up again. Okay! <laughs> it's got a mind of its own, it's fine. Come on. Uh, have you ever ridden in Long Island in New York? No, I haven't. I would like to. Next time, no, one of the my, one of the things I want to do is go and ride the Long Island Railroad. I think it's probably going to be best to go actually back down. I think. <laughs> Why can't it, when it go up? Nah, it won't. <laughs> but there you go. You can have a look. There you go. It's amazing. Oh, how many coaches have you got? Oh, yeah. You do what I do when I come into that situation when I demonstrated this route. Just start cutting off coaches until it works. Yeah. I think I've got too many on. <clears throat> oh, it probably would have helped that I've still got the handbrakes on, to be honest. That's not going to improve the situation, no. No. Let's see if that works. Go. This is the quarry. So you got little different areas. So you got the, the wagons coming up to here, and then you've then got a whole area up here to shunt the wagons about, and then another level. I think it's four levels, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. 
which is quite amazing. We had this trouble last week, didn't we? We did, Cameron. Yeah, we couldn't get uphill then either. <laughs> but I will admit, I have learned how to do that. So uh, I have uh, a smoke box has actually <laughs> sent me some bits. Ah, uh, excellent. Mike is really good at that. Whenever I whenever I stream stuff, I get I, I usually get an email of um, uh, really good feedback afterwards, telling me all the things I did wrong and why and how I should have done it better. And I learned an absolute ton doing that, which is really good. I'll tell you what, I think I should restart this. That's what I think I'm just going to do. Give me a Go second. Give me a second. <laughs> I think we won't go downhill now. I think we'll just... <laughs> there you go, I'm in a tree now. I had to make this quick scenario because it wasn't... It didn't want to work earlier, so... We'll try again, shall we? I'll go down the route this time. <clears throat> oh, I'll change my cab in a bit. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna run downhill. This is what I should have done, really, but there you go. Let's see where we are. <coughs> Operator and driver, are you able to make your own route on Train Sim 2021? You are, and this is a route made by somebody um, in their own time. This is not this is not an official route. This is one we've downloaded from Steam Workshop. Yeah, make sure your dampers are open. Just trying to set the road at the moment. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. I probably shouldn't have taken that many coaches up to the top, really, but there you go. <laughs> you live and learn. Yep. Idea is, is we're going to push, we're going to pull forward, pull the coaches forward, and then we'll uh, be on our way. Time travel, we're playing Train Simulator 2021, which has Steam Trains in it. You just need to download the add ons that have got Steam Trains in them. Make sure I've got the road set. How far have we got the road set down? So I can find it on Steam Workshop. Is the different Lecky? Um, maybe one of the mods can go and find it and post a, a link. I can't actually post links on the chat. Um, but yeah, it's the different Lecky, and it's by um, uh, Trolley Fodder. You'll obviously need Chorus, I believe, to uh, get the track, out, uh, the track of the trains and some of the scenery. somewhere now. Change the road. JP, you have to talk to Jamie about that. <clears throat> What's that? Uh, the, the mods are saying, and it's a good shout actually. If you send links to the um, to the stuff that we're going to run to uh, the uh, mods, then they will uh, they can post regular links and info other other info as we uh, as we stream it. So, oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, we'll sort that out for you, uh, moderators. Thank you.
There's plenty of LNER trains time travel. Um, there's the B1 and the, there's the O4, I think. Um, but Woodhead, there's the uh, K4. Uh, God, there's, there's several. There's Scots ones available, Mallards. The A4s are available. So now shunning our train now. There we go. And we'll set the road again. So I keep going between the map because I didn't set the road for all this. And we'll put it into better percentage on the reverser. Ah, uh, time travel, no. If you're looking at trains in World, then there are no steam trains on that one yet. Yet. Uh, this is Train Simulator 2021, which is PC only. I must admit, just looking at this, it just it, there is something about this. I mean, look down here. Look at this. They're all on the beach. There's some people swimming as well. Those are the days, you know, back when you could go outside. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little crane on the dock. Just really lovely. go right let's get our passengers on well the yet shouldn't be a surprise we have said it's coming we've got our road i've just realized something if they want to get on the train they've got to go yeah i should have thought of that i came into this platform and all the doors are on the wrong side that's really good that, that's a clever one, that one. Uh, no date yet for it, uh, for the Steam Yet Time Travel. Keep an eye on the usual the usual channels. Uh, Nigel, March, March Madness is uh, a sale, um, and it is... Um... Uh, it is, it's, uh, we're, going, we know, we're doing the same as we've done recently with a couple of strain, uh, uh, set celebrations is uh, we do a lot more streaming um, so we're all going to be doing I think the schedules have been published for our fan, for that now haven't they I think they have yeah yeah it fires all right steam trains uh, yeah ping me a, a DM on the forums And we're off. That's it, JP. You found it. Thank you very much. JP's just posted a link to this route on Steam Workshop. Lovely. But even down, like the, you, you've got all of the uh, the wall there with the, uh, the tiling on it, and uh, oh, I just love it. It's such a detailed route. There's so many in so many places along this route. There's just stuff to look at. Just look at that. There you go. Look at that. You're not going to travel along this route quickly, at least, you know, not in, and not, not successfully and quickly anyway. No. Um, and, um, but you'll always have stuff to look at, you know, you really feel like you're moving along the route, it's very good. I really do think I've put too many coaches on this. I think I'm probably just going to drop some. <laughs> Have you found the ideal fire mass for this train? Nope. Again, that was one thing. I should learn this. I refuse to drive a steam engine now without figuring its fire mass out first, because yeah. you're too likely to uh, uh, to mess it up otherwise. Customitchi, yeah, we uh, Jamie is going to drive to 440 again and show us all how it is supposed to be done.
I must admit, it's just the the fires. The the I've put the blower on, but it's not picking up at all. Look. You see? I think I'm just going to drop some. <laughs> Manifold. No. That's better. Just some people aren't going to get back this far. It's fine. No, the coaches are comfortable. They can. Uh... They can sleep there. Yep. <laughs> Send to address. Look at this. There we go. Beautiful. Nice of it, it's just a gorgeous route though. Mm. And the thing that's impressive that you've got to remember about these is that they're not made with any custom assets. It's no. all made by repurposing what, what's already in the game. Which makes it all the more impressive. You've got to be so much more creative trying to figure out how you can recreate some, you know, some of these things just by repurposing some of the existing scenes. I've seen some really clever stuff done in some Steam Workshop routes. Yeah. But yeah, you're not going to get there quick. <laughs> Is it a tourist steam train? Be a passenger train of some sort, Tornet Gaming. It's remember it's a fictional railway and I think you're just free roaming it, aren't you? Yes, yeah. Yeah, so we're just making it up as we go along. Yeah. I mean it's quite a large route, I think it's about five miles. So uh, I don't think it's a route that you would do, you know, because your main speed limit's about 10, 15 miles an hour. So it's it's one that would take quite a while to do. Here's a way of controlling the fire and water from in cab. Yeah, you can certainly most of the fire. Um, there's two firing controls, and on a low car like this, probably one of the controls is not available. You'd have to use the R key to do the stoking rate, but you can open and close the firebox by just literally clicking and dragging. Uh, and then the water controls, all the injectors and, and uh, valves are actually in the cab, so you can operate those. Look at this. It's things like these tunnels where you, you can see that things have got really clever because you know it's just the way that the assets have been repurposed to create sort of the the tunnel effect that the uh, the author wants is really good. Uh, the Great Western Legends, I can't remember what the euro price for it is. It's the £14.99, I think. you got things like this. Just look at this, look. you got some with their horse, look. The crossings. Yeah. No, I think they're probably going to be waiting for me more of the other words that I'm waiting for them. <laughs> I'm just going to sit for a little while and build the pressure up, if I can. Well, let's have a look at your steam generation rate versus uh, your steam usage rate. So, still really close. Now, one thing to remember that you yeah, with... Um, these locos is often just cracking the accelerator a little, little bit will uh, 
will help you. Um, and you can see the numbers go up a bit when you do that. Um, and then just try adding, um, press the uh, hold, press and hold F and R, and get some stoke coal going in, and see what happens as it does that to your um, your steam generation rate, and see if it starts going yeah. up. No, it's going down. Yeah. Come on, stop sticking there. I've got my blower on, but it's not... yeah. Is there a size or asset limit on custom maps? No, not that I'm aware of. I think Workshop might have some file size limits to the per file, but they're pretty huge. You're going to run out of ideas, inspiration and patience, I think, long before you hit the... Uh, Hit that limit. Bear in mind that your files that you upload, your routes you upload to Steam Workshop can't include the assets. So it really is the track and the instructions and the data that says where to place the assets. That's all you're really uploading. So the routes are generally quite small to download, really. Same with scenarios, because they haven't got the, the, the heavy bit in there. Nope, I just seem to be sitting there now. <laughs> the same PSI. Oh dear. I'm not very good at it, am I? <laughs> That's really odd. Just doesn't want to know today. I think I will use a diesel on this one in future. <laughs> use that rather lovely battery loco. Yes. Although I'll have to remember not to run out of charge. I could just drop all the other passengers off, to be honest. That's better. There we go. We Much get easier. Somewhere. Sorry. We're here, to see the, we're here to see the route, not operate a passenger service. Yep. Passengers getting in the way of quality rail operations again. Yep. <laughs> I know my water's getting very low, don't worry. It's because we're on the on the gradient at the moment, so uh Yeah, I've got weight yeah I have Dominic. <laughs> I probably put too much coal in it and the fire can't breathe. That's probably why I'm not getting yeah, much further. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Yeah. That's what I say. You should, I never touch anything in the coal until I know what the situation with the ideal fire mass is because you can smother the fire just as easily as you starve it. Yeah. Possibly easier though, to be honest, because put too much coal in and uh, actually you get much worse off very, very quickly. Yeah. You notice that as you start to... Um, um, when you put coal in, it goes up and up and up really slowly. Yeah. Um, but as you, um, um, as you once you start overcoaling, it goes down so sharply. Yeah. yeah so you've really got to be careful. Yeah, I did put the brakes in running position, but it didn't seem to 
want to know much difference, to be honest. Yeah, Chris, this probably is the wrong sort of Welsh coal. I'll tell you what we could do. Give me a minute. We'll get the battery lo loco out and we'll have a go with the battery loco. There you go, if it out, get something electric or diesel. Give us a minute. I'm sure I've got the battery loco in here somewhere. Turbo boost. There you go, Mr. F. That is what all steam engines need. Da, 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 da. I've just got to find it now. But do they? Should they have um, elect, uh, super thrust? This is what we need to know. Okay. Let's see if this works. See if I can get this to work now. Try again. <laughs> yeah, I just show how to get it wrong, uh, basically. No, don't worry, I did try the clutch thing with the diesels, don't worry, I did try that. Oh, the clutch diesel is awesome. Yeah. Oh, you... It was doing this earlier. This is the issue I had. Oh, dear, right. Okay. <laughs> Da, da, da. I think we'll leave that one for now, don't you? <laughs> yeah, we kind of showed it off. Yeah. It's one of them nights, I think. Alright. It's a night where we're streaming, yes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> if we're streaming, nothing will work. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I could have tried the F2 trick, that's true. Yes, I do. Steam Trains Unlimited. Yeah, I, I, I do. I, I, it's it's strange. Uh, it seems as if I've just like lost the knack of it. I don't know whether it's just because I'm purely overfiring it, which is probably what it is. Yeah, I think you're uh, definitely overfiring. So, um, we will see. <laughs> we expect a rerun. Yes. Homework is to perfect it. Yeah. I'm now currently learning how to do the uh the other loco we did the uh the American loco we did the 440 the 440. <laughs> so um there we go. Forward to stop near GP38 2005 set switches to then reverse onto your cars at Anchorage uh Anchorage. Yeah. Anchorage. It's one of them nights tonight. South, um, yard South Main. There we go. Look at this. Nice. ST70. Right, so where are we going to? So we are here. We are... Oh, there we go. So we need to go to... There. South Main Yard. So... The best me going... Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, no, this is not an AC4500, this is an SD70 ACE, isn't it? I'm not sure, I can check, I don't know where it would be. Um, does it say anywhere on the loco as such? Yeah, on the door normally. Door. Oh, well, in the cab, sorry. No, 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 on one of the sides, normally it's written down on the side there. 
I believe it's an AC. One of the one of our resident experts, I'm sure, will confirm. SC70 Mac says Derek. So that's it's a Mac. Ah, there we go. SD77, SD70M AC. Yeah. One is now singing Return of the Mac in their head. <laughs> uh, I can't check my echo, so my audio settings, ACM2, I'm not in charge of the audio settings. I don't know why I'd be echoey. I don't think you are. Recording. Uh, Recording the stream, I am. I'll be stopping in a second and I'll check it. Can everybody still hear it now? Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. Hello. <clears throat> but no echo on on uh, on. Uh, has anyone got the stream open twice? Oh, there we go. Oh, better. There, you go. there we go. That's sorted it. No echo here. Good. Here, yeah, was blaming the pink headphones. I keep telling you, first make it work, make make everything right. Right, so we've got to go back to there, so set the road there. Yeah, lovely. Apparently I'm now really quiet. Oh, hang on. Give me a second. One of them days. It is one of them days today. I don't know. It's just what... <sighs> It is literally one of those days today. Right, I think we've got somewhere now. Right, let's see one, two, how are we looking? I'll keep it there, keep, keep, <laughs> I'm so sorry for tonight, everything, yes, Moggy, yes, everything keeps breaking tonight, it is literally, it's not my day, is it? It's really not. It is not my day. Mind you, I said that last time and it wasn't my day, was it? Somewhere now, aren't we? How far have we got back? Oh no, quite well. Good now, is it? Smashing. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, yeah, it is one of those days. <laughs> are great aren't they? Uh, locos are monsters, Nick, they definitely are. <clears throat> Forward out of anchorage, be, be aware that you'll have to stop at turn again. Turn again? Uh, can you drive the loco from inside the cab rather than asking your controls? Yes, every loco in TS1 has got a fully featured cab um, that you can, and you can click and drag the controls as well. We're going all the way down to there. I need to make sure I've got the road set properly. Yep. Oh, yeah, okay. I'll just show you how that works. So, 
I've actually got the reverser in here. Um, there we go. And our power control. So it's all still drivable in here. <coughs> Good evening, British Ace. How are you? Yeah, and we're off. Funny, uh, funny Webby, funny. I don't think I should. Get this up a hill. Let's not jinx it, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the chat will probably be thinking up of a new name for a nickname for me now. Well, getting stuck, you know, that's doing a Jamie now, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <coughs> yeah, getting stuck getting on stuck, a hill. Getting stuck on a hill is doing a Jamie. Mm. Yeah. Hey Sunset, how's it going? Yeah, this Alaska route is really pretty. I really like the blue and yellow livery as well. <laughs> Mucky says, Jamie, do you need us to get out and push? By us, I mean everyone who isn't me. <laughs> Mucky will be too busy um, guarding, uh, and I put that in quotes, um, the, uh, the freezer supplies. <coughs> Well, at least we found out what doing a Jamie is now, right? Exactly. You've now got a thing. I've now got a thing. Your full membership to the train sim community. Yeah. No, Moggy, there isn't a freezer on this train. That's a myth. It didn't, it didn't happen. It's not there. I don't know where you heard that from. It's, it's, it's a lie. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's do some nice shots, shall we? Very mixed freight. Is Moggy really Sam's cat, Jeff? Hmm, interesting. We have a caboose. Hey, we can go in the back. Look at that. That's it. Life is now complete. Yeah. Don't lie, you don't do as a bib, Moggy. Wouldn't ever dare let anything drop. Uh, I believe that will be coming, Ross. I, I saw something along those lines um, today, so I think someone's already at, uh, ahead of you on that one. I don't know when, but I definitely saw something today, a document someone put together. To me, it's a lovely like how this Sure, I haven't got it off. Well, I've got digitalizer. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of these uh, these locos, uh, these large locos, have the toilet in the uh, in the nose, don't they? So down uh, there, steam trains. It? Yeah, it's down there. Yeah. Mind you, they are doing miles and miles and miles at a time, aren't they? Yep. Oh yeah, long haul over a long time. The TS and TSW have the same game engine running simulation. No, they don't. Very, very different, Dinesh. Very different. So this is an original game engine that was developed for this game many, yeah. many moons ago. Um, and uh, whereas TSW is based on Unreal Unreal Engine 4. Oh, we've had someone, uh, uh, Valkyries, ask, I heard you say a Jamie. What's doing a Jamie? So doing a Jamie is finding out that you can't keep the pressure on a steam loco and get stuck on a hill. That's why... <laughs> Put, put more simply, it's just getting stuck. He's getting stuck. Yeah. Getting stuck on a hill. 
for whatever reason, is doing a jingle. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. F, Oxford Dictionary definition. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, big dog. Clinchfield screenshot showing trains headed by lots of locos. The train's really long and heavy. It's a combination of that and some really steep gradients. Like I think on the Nora branch, you've got you know excess of three and a half percent. Steam trains, he can drive a steamo. He's perfectly good at it. It's just he seems to have lost his mojo the last couple of times. Yeah. Now, normally, I've, I've, I've just got it right, and it's just like the past couple of times I've just gone at it and gone, eh? And I'm just like, my brain's like, why? Why am I. Yeah, but, but there you go. We'll get it back. We'll get it back. Your punishment is uh, I, uh, I, re I require you to spend more time driving trains in train sim. It's quite a good punishment, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if someone came and said, Your punishment? You must drive more trains. Yeah, sure. Fine. Play the game more. Yeah. That's your punishment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> somebody be, Please, no more! <laughs> That a flashing signal, so I slow down a little bit. I already had the pump car as a punishment on one of my streams. I can't remember what I did wrong. Possibly the fish fans, I can't remember. Um, <laughs> but um, no, someone wrote a scenario, it's up on workshop, so we're going to have to force Jamie to do it, I think, next time. Mm. Which is the, uh, the pump car up to Churston. There you go, there's the thing. If any. There, is that should. Should chat decide? Chat. Do you think because I've messed up the past two steam steam likers that I should do the scenario that Matt's mentioned? <coughs> just me, just jamming at the keys, trying to get them. <laughs> <laughs> I just see Matt nodding his head. <laughs> Vicious Fisher said yes, Michael Newbury said yes, 100% of the people so far applying said yes, Valkyrie yes. said yes, Custom Hitch has given us some thumbs up emotes, oh that's just amazing, right yes, so you will be pump carting it next week, pump car, yeah right, I'm writing that down, pump carting it next week, <sighs> just for the record I got it up in one go yeah, no pressure, <laughs> you get, you make me. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure I'm gonna get it done in one go. Uh, it's, it's to be honest, it's not that hard. <clears throat> Moggy, what was the question? Is Moggy amazing? You just need to say yes. Yeah. I'm sure he is. I'm sure he is. Twitch plays with a pub cart, yeah, where everybody got banned. That was hilarious. <laughs> that was one of those experiments gone terribly, terribly wrong. I set up a Twitch plays train sim so that uh, if you typed up, then it made the pump cart handle go up, and if you typed down, it made it go down. And the idea was everyone would just type up and down and make the pump cart handle go up and down. And it was really good to get started. And then within about one minute, suddenly Twitch started banning everybody. <laughs> Because they were all spamming the same thing over and over again on the chat. <laughs> oh dear, that's brilliant. So suddenly the chat got really quiet because everyone had been given 10 minute um, silences automatically by Twitch. And I was like, oops, let's not do that again. <laughs> Didn't think about that. Probably should do think I put a thought about that. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice bit of action, that is. I should check the signal. Oh, we're okay. 
You got the, uh, you're uh, diverting. Yeah. But you would say, yeah, uh, it's a Y, so. But going off to the right, I would expect. Yeah, I think so. Nope, going off to the left. Fair enough. <laughs> well, that means the right is the normal path, I guess. Yeah. This is made by Not Silent, by the way. As well. Uh, will you do a Twitch drive? Uh, at some point, I will on my own stream. Yeah, pink trains. There's the little caboose. Uh, yeah, the three one three is in production, BT. Uh, skybox hasn't changed, uh, British Ace. Um, there are just there are a variety of different skyboxes on different routes, and Alaska has quite a nice one. Yeah. They're only photographic, they're only photographs, basically. It's quite a clever system. Yes, yeah, so this is uh, H, uh, not silent, uh, 585 Alaska Railroad, Anchorage to Potter. Another oh, logo here, isn't it? What's that? I'll say another one there. Is that GP38? I think so. Will TSW ever fully replace TS? I doubt it. Or if it is, it'll be for not for a long time. You, it's up to you, really. If people are still playing TS, then people will still play TS. There's still people playing MSTS, so there are on there, yeah. I don't think there's any need for TSW to replace TS. They're both good. They both do the different things in different ways. Um, and they both got their strengths and their, um, you know, their uh, issues. So it's, um, you know, play the game that's what you want to play. Don't let ever, anyone ever tell you otherwise. Uh, British Ace now, Snesty 70 Mac. See all the routes that are currently planned, uh, Thomas, on the uh, on the roadmap. Yeah. Got a 45 limit coming up, lovely. Yeah, it's a long route, this one. It is, isn't it? I was just having a look at the route map. Look at that. 
and it's whoa, blimey! It's it's Anchorage to Suet. Massive. And we're just up here, and we're going to not even a quarter of the route, really. Why is the event this weekend called March Madness? Why not? It's just March and there's madness, essentially. Yeah. yeah. It's the combination of the March and the madness, really. Yeah. Right, speed up now, we've got a 45 limit. Oh yeah, the 86s are awesome, aren't they, uh, Rui Fonseca? We're off. I love the clouds in this, it's lovely, like... Mm, yeah, someone commented on the chat, the sky, uh, sky dome is really nice. Yeah. I have no idea, I don't think so, BT. But, come along, and we'll tell you tomorrow. Or sample. Yes. It's a question for the chat. Has anybody actually in the chat been to Alaska? I've played the gold mining game on Steam. Does that count? No. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> so stream tomorrow, yeah, March Madness streams start tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. No, not Sunday, I don't think. Is it not? No, I don't think it is Saturday. A Sunday. Let <laughs> let I yeah look. Let I yeah look. Yeah, there you go. Bit of Norfolk. Aye. <laughs> Got a light boy? <laughs> Got a light boy? <sighs> so this Norfolk rubbish anyway. Suffolk! Suffolk oh. boy! Oh! Cheek! Cheek! Down where it's proper! <laughs> That's not proper down there, it's proper up here! <laughs> Probably chats things to himself, what the hell are they talking about? Well, everyone knows that, you know, Norfolk is just weird. Oh, it's, it's like where all, all the Suffolk people go when they get take a wrong turn. <laughs> it's, and Suffolk is where the Norfolk people go when they take a wrong turn. <sighs> and you notice they don't come back because they know where they are, where the right oh, place. No. <laughs> oh no! Cheek of it, the cheek of it. Uh, Sam will be on my side, he's a software boy as well. Is he? I didn't know that. There you go, look at that. Nice. There's somewhere here. Oh, Moggy. <laughs> Moggy's made a good... Look at this. Let me do a Moggy check on Suffolk and Norfolk. Third rail, non. Equals fail. I know, it's just Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's not my, apolo my apologies. I thought it was Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. <clears throat> Pink Trains, very offended, proud to live in Norwich. Hey! <laughs> Moggy's Ark, I can hear angry typing. <laughs> Hello. Well, what's important is East Anglia represent. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it's all right. We got a green. No, it's my.
The land that motorways and hills, in, indeed, Robert. Uh, a land that hill, the hills forgot as well. It's like being in the Netherlands. <laughs> Set your watch back, watch back a hundred years when you go to Suffolk. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the same with Norfolk, really. <laughs> it's like you're time travelling. Oh, they're both fairly oldie worldy. Yeah. There is a certain charm. I do like East Anglia. I, mm. I grew up. I spent a lot of my younger years in East Anglia, starting from middle school. <clears throat> Dad was Air Force, so we travelled around a lot. But we uh, put down roots in East Anglia. I really like it there. That like said, probably my favourite place that I've lived is the Shetland Islands. Oh, really? Yeah, that's lovely up there. On a little island called Unst in the north. Uh, will I drive on Friday or will JD? I think I will I'll be driving Pinky. Driving everyone crazy, but you know. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look, the British Warriors said the fun fact it's which is still set in 1907. Not far <laughs> off, to be honest, British Warrior. Not far off. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, Carlo. Got um, South Aussie trains asking what route it is. I can't remember the name. This is the Alaska Railroad Anchorage to Seward line. Okay. You mean I'll be spadding here, probably? Or derailing? Or. Nebworth thing, possibly even the odd Jamie. <laughs> yeah. At least I found my thing now, haven't I? We've got you doing... found your place in the community. Yeah, we've got doing a Jamie, doing a Natalie, doing a Nebworth, which is yours, <laughs> and yep. doing a Sam. Which basically involves orbit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get you some fact. What was the name of the loco again? An AC? SD70 MAC. MAC. Good 4,000 horsepower, I think, these things. Is it AMC or AMC? MAC. MAC. Yeah. And it was A, -A, -A sorry. Mac something, wasn't it? Mac? SC70 Mac. SC70 SD. MAC. That's why I was looking at the wrong one. There you go, Robert Mitchell's called out return of the Mac. There you go. I see, I knew someone. <laughs> So, uh, there's actually, interestingly, um, they, there is 1,109 of them built altogether. Um, and I'm just trying to see if I can find the top speed. I don't think I can. But, um, let me just see what it says here. I'm just 
trying to find information about it. There isn't much information about it, let's put it that way. Yeah, you got the Whittier branch line as well, um, Derek, which is uh, really interesting because it goes. Through, they've got a road and rail tunnel, and they have to stop the trains, to let, uh, stop the cars to let the trains go through, and then they can stop the uh, uh, trains and then let the cars go through afterwards. So they have to all share the thing because there's literally only one lane. That's amazing. Well, I think it might be two lanes, but the truck, the train takes up both of them. Look at that. Yeah, the route spends a bunch of time actually hugging the coastline um, on, the, on the northern on the northern stretch of it. Um, you spend a lot of time hugging the coastline like this before you you head inland for the Whittier branch, and then it heads south, which is then through the, the uh, through the mountains. Hey there, train track, Trav. Enjoying a nice cup of tea. <laughs> uh, what are both your roles at DTG? Jamie, tell them who you are. So I am uh, the community manager for Train Simulator. Um, so uh, I look after look after the forums and bits and pieces like that and stream and uh, look at all your uh, what you're talking about and your feedback and things. And uh, what, what do you what is your role, Matt? I'm a senior producer for Train Sim World. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, the team and I make Train Sim World. Well, mostly they they, they primarily make it. And, um, um, I get to enjoy it, basically. <laughs> they they do all the hard work, and every now and again they say, "Matt, would you like it blue or grey?" And I say, "Both." <laughs> and then that I'm makes sorry. me feel like I've input it. I've had input in everything, and you know. I was gonna say, I was thinking to myself, I was thinking they were gonna ask you, "Is it is it shaken or not stirred?" <laughs> Or pink. See, now I was going to say that, but that's too easy. Although I want to say a huge, a huge thank you to the team, because I don't know if you guys noticed. I'm sure everybody noticed at the bottom of the building the F7 article was a lovely picture of a pink F7, and I didn't even have anything to do with that. You did really? I had nothing to do with that whatsoever. Oh, I looked oh. at the bottom of the article. I'm like, ah, oh, my team. Yes. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I thought that was everything to do with you. <laughs> that was absolutely nothing to do with me. The pink javelin, that was me. <laughs> but the pink F7 was just my team being awesome. <laughs> <clears throat> How long have I worked for Dovetail? Uh, I joined just before TS 2013 came out, so... Um, April. So if, if, if 2013 came out in the uh, in the September probably of the of 2012, I think mm. I joined in the April of the April for, before then. So that's what eight nine years now. I think so. Something like that. Yeah, I've only been here since August. So. Do I attend teams meetings wearing these pink headsets? I'm literally, literally on a teams call right now with Jamie with these headsets which are plugged into my laptop. Yes. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, every now and again I wear, the, I do wear the other headset I've got. Um, but just to be clear, it's another one of the same thing. So uh, it is literally right. We have the big meetings, and Matt is there. And he's there with his pink headset. And oh, yeah. I did the company meeting this week. You, you know? did. Yep. 
I did the cutting meeting, I've got the, got the headset on, you know, yep. it's the thing now. It's got to be done. Uh, am I seeing your producer for Train Simulator 2021? No. Somebody else looks after Train Simulator 2021. I focus on Train Sim World. Yeah. There's a separate team that looks after Train Simulator 2021. Yeah. Which is only right. It needs to, it needs to have dedicated attention. It does. Yeah. Nearly there now. 0 0.13 <laughs> miles. Do you code at Dovetail? Not really. I have done coding. I did, like, I implemented Track IR on Train Simulator. And I, yeah, I, I rewrote all the rail driver interface on Train Simulator. I did a bunch of bug fixes on Train Simulator. You know, back when those are things I really shouldn't have been doing. I should have been doing other things. But, you know, I wanted Track IR on Train Simulator, so I did it. Um, but in uh, Train Sim World, no, I don't think. I've, I, I've done some messing about for my own benefits. Um, uh, but it's none of that's made it out. I do service. I do service modes. I get involved in service modes. Um, but no, for the most part, the uh, um, I, I'm not actually a, a developer in that sense. I um, I look after the team that actually does all of the hard work. Like I said, and uh, and and that's only appropriate. They do a really good job. So that boat. Do you play in your free time Train Simulator 2021? I spend all of my time playing Train Sim World because I'm generally playtesting <clears throat> uh, content. There's just not enough hours in the day. Um, so uh, I quite often find myself forcing, you know, forcing myself, literally forcing myself <laughs> to play some more Train Sim World um, to test the upcoming content. This is really interesting route because you notice it doesn't have signals. It has these blocks, yeah. doesn't it? It has these blocks, and what happens is that um, they have uh, they have to radiate. They use the, it's called DTC, um, Directed Train Control, uh, and essentially they call up on the radio um, for permission to proceed, and they'll get told you're cleared from you know pot block pot to block blah, and then they'll, the engineer will drive up to that one and then request the next set of um, blocks that he needs to use, uh, uh -huh. and it's all done by the. Um, the, the central uh, uh, train dispatcher managing, you know, what blocks have been allocated to what trains, and then uh, and then doing it all over the radio. So there's no actual um, electronic signalling mm. um, mm. around here. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah, I would say uh, wonky stuff. Yeah, I would agree with that, wouldn't you? About the um, absolute block working in the UK. <laughs> It's absolute block, but without any of the colour lights or anything like that. So you, it's all done manually. It's 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 almost like waybills, in that yeah. um, um, you would be uh, uh, you request permission to travel block A to block B, and you, once you get to block B, you know that you can't proceed past that yellow sign essentially. Yeah. Um, so uh, you would then um, ring, uh, call back on the radio, get permission for whatever your next move is. Yeah. Blocks is like a token system on single track. Essentially, but again, it's just literally just done over the radio, and they'll just um, make notes. And there's probably a uh, a big wall board where the uh, where they've where they've got everything on. It's, you know, it's old school stuff. You yeah, know, it's old school stuff because out here in the in you know with the distances that the Alaska Railroad covers, um, they the um, that's it. Bellu is the other is the next block along. Yeah. Um, so the with the distances that the uh, the railroad covers, probably find that it's actually really difficult to to install and then maintain. You know, and you're on the coast, probably with really bad weather, really uh, hostile weather in some cases. When certainly when the snow comes down, that you'll probably find that the colour light signals would be probably more dangerous than not. Track warrants. That's what the phrase I was phrase I was trying to think of. Train track traffic. Yes, yeah, basically a track warrant system. But it's called DTC, Directed Train Control. Hmm. Well, there we go. It's lovely, though. So there we go. And this is... Uh, yeah, by... well. Go on, sorry. This is uh, not Silent 585. So, uh... There you go. Yes, there was an, uh, a show about uh, the railroad, the railway, uh, the railroad of uh, Alaska. There's a really good TV show about it. Um, mm gave you some really good insight and as well as some really beautiful imagery because this, this area is just spectacular yeah there railroad alaska it was called if i remember rightly so that is the 
So it's uh, not silent. Uh, 585 Alaska Railroad, Anchorage to Potter. There you go. And there we go. Awesome. So that is that is the two for tonight. Hopefully next time. <laughs> well, let's be honest. The one and a half, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> well, we'll get we'll uh, we'll take another look at that route uh, another time, uh, and I'll try and work something out better for it next time. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for joining us, folks. Yep. Don't forget, March Madness streams and sales start tomorrow. Yeah, and we look forward to seeing you in the streams. And we've got plenty of them coming up. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and don't forget Diesel Legends launching uh, on consoles at midnight in your local area, and at some point in the afternoon on uh, on Steam. Yeah, perfect. All right, so I think that's that's it for tonight. That is it. Thank you yep. very much, everyone. Good night. Thank you. All right, see you soon. Bye.